Hi everyone, uh, Natalie here again. Uh, I'm reporting on day 16 of the 28 day Jason Vale Super Juice Me plan. Um, everything's going fine, still no hunger, but you'd expect that because it's well over two weeks in. Um, I did feel a bit bloated yesterday, which, uh, and I feel like I'm not really losing any weight, which that's not the only reason I'm doing it. Um, but it's interesting because when I very first started the plan, I had the same sort of feeling. So I think it's just the recipes that are on days one and 15 and then days two and day 16. So maybe it's just something in those that triggers something. Maybe that's why today my day 17 or day three has a digestive aid in it. So that could be the, the reasoning behind that. So I am going to try and make this a quicker one. I keep saying this every day and then I ramble on. So I'm just going to whiz through these. Um, so um, I've said about yesterday, the bloating. Um, I've Without doubt, I definitely prefer the thickies to the juices. So the thickies are juices with avocado or banana blended into them. Really do like pretty much all of the thickies, but the juices I'm a bit more averse to. So I think when I finish doing this, what I'll probably do is replace um, a meal. I might do the 5-2, uh, especially as I suspect I'm going to have still a bit more weight that I would like to lose. Um, maybe I'm going to do a re meal replacement once a day with the thickies or something. I need to still look into the 5-2, how it works. I have got the book, but I haven't had time to read it. I've got about seven books on the go at the moment. Not all to do with juicing, but uh, I'm, I'm a bit swamped with my reading. Um, so uh, now, a big question, do I actually feel better? Somebody asked me this after a week and I said, oh, well, you know, not noticeably yet. And I have to say, in all honesty, I don't, feel much different. Now, I don't want to say that to discourage people. Actually, it's the opposite. Um, because whilst lots of people say that they do feel a lot better, even if you're not noticing the difference, I do know, and this is what will help to carry me through, I do know that regardless of how I feel outwardly, maybe I've just got lots of muck to clear and to detoxify from my system. Um, maybe I wasn't eating too badly for long enough before for me to be feeling, I wasn't feeling bad anyway, um, but I, I know that there is a lot of healing going on inside and that I'm flooding my system with nutrients. And so that really is enough for me to want to keep going and realizing that I might not outwardly see the benefits of it, but I know undoubtedly that it's doing me good from the inside out. So I've still got another 12 days to go. There may still be, you know, really quite significant improvements over, I say improvements, I'm not sure what I'm trying to improve outwardly other than outwardly is, would be my weight. Um, oh, my arm, definitely, definitely being able to do a lot more with that. Now I was able to, able to put t-shirts or tops on and off over my head or jumpers on and off over my head, which before, I mean, even doing something like this, I couldn't, couldn't have done before. I'm feeling it still but it is definitely improving, which like I said in one of my other videos, I'm not surprised by because it's an inflammatory thing. Although it's called an injury, it's from lying on my side and, and in a funny position, sort of probably curled forwards on my side with all my weight on that shoulder. And it's cleared. I've cleared the other one before without doing anything. Physiotherapist or doctor will probably tell you, you have to have steroid injections or do physiotherapy. But I believe that everything can, has the potential to be healed with diet and with our thoughts. So um, really pleased about that. Skin still not great, but I think the celery juice is still doing its thing. I'm actually finding, I really can't say that I like the celery juice still, but I'm, I'm making peace with it for sure. Um, it's, I just do it. I just do it. I don't tell myself a story. Oh my God, this is awful. This is the worst part of my day. I've just stopped all that negative self-talk that's only making it worse. And I just accept it and just let it be something that I incorporate in my routine and it's, it's okay. I've just, by the time, even if it takes me a minute and a half to drink down 
what is it probably just under it's just about half a liter of celery juice <laughs> which probably sounds quite awful to anyone who like me has absolutely loathed celery juice or even isn't that bothered about it but it really does come down to the stories that we tell ourselves in our head as to whether we're making something easier or worse for ourselves. The same as with this plan, you know, I could just sit there and say, oh, I'm not losing much weight or I'm not dropping weight like I'd like to, or I don't feel any outwardly any different. But um, I know that there are things that it's doing for me, flooding all my cells with nutrition and doing things that I can't see yet and maybe I can't see the effects of yet but I'm not going to be impatient about this I'm in to do it for the full time and possibly a little bit longer maybe just do my own version of it with the things that I actually like and mixing it with a bit of food because obviously we need to get back to eating and I don't want to find that my body adapts so much to this that I can only do this to maintain my weight this is what I had going on with the fasting and I don't want that this is what I had going on with fruit and I don't want that it would be oh I can't eat fruit or I'll put on weight I can't not fast regularly or I'll put on weight so I don't want to be controlled by these these beliefs and um, and these unsustainable routines that I was finding myself getting into so I want to have the freedom to eat well and but to eat to not be hungry to not be enslaved cravings by the way um, Catherine mentioned cheese to me yesterday um, <laughs> and my cheese cravings are improving for sure I nearly said to her she'd mentioned the C word, um, but uh, I've, I've now, I was grating cheese for the family's meal last night and I was okay about it. And the, the blocks of cheese in the fridge are not screaming at me to eat them like they were um, a little while ago. Um, so just moving on quickly, I am developing a new obsession as well, Jason Vale's soup. So I've started making those recipes um, for my husband. Uh, so that he's getting good food and trying not to reach for a can of Heinz awful soup even if it is organic it's still BPA probably lined tins and aluminium so I don't like I try to the human non-human intervention or low human intervention as Jason Vale calls it calls it I'm trying to steer him away from that too with some homemade soups and because I've had such good, good feedback from him of the couple two or three that I've made so far I'm now thinking oh my god what other soup recipes can I do so I can see that being my new um, obsession and something that I would actually really quite like to do after so I've never been into soups but I do make a chicken and vegetable soup from chicken broth that the whole family loves and is absolutely stuffed with vegetables um, but it's a bit of an ordeal for me to make so it takes god knows how long maybe i'll do a video on that one day because um, it is so nutritious um, so what i have noticed for sure i've mentioned sleep before is not only am i sleeping very well most of the time i didn't actually sleep the very well the night before last but just my mind was worrying about things because i'm getting behind with stuff because i'm spending so much time in the kitchen um, but I'm really, really struggling to stay awake past nine or 10 o'clock at night. And no matter what I'm doing, if I'm reading a book on my phone or if I'm watching a film, um, I don't really watch any TV, but um, I, I'm sort of waking up and realizing I've nodded off. So I am getting really tired quite early in the evening, but that's probably a good thing because my body needs to recover and it's got all these nutrients. It wants to do something with them and no time better than when we're asleep and everything's in repair mode. Um, so that's kind of it really for today. Um, I, I have made it still longer than I intended, but not as long as yesterday's. So um, let me know how you're getting on. Um, good luck if you're doing this as well. And um, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Thanks very much for taking the time to watch. I really do appreciate it. I really do appreciate it. Catherine, you've been lovely with your commenting. Um, it makes it worth my while to do these because this is more time that I'm having to find in my day to do it. Um, really do appreciate any feedback and comments and just people letting me know if this is helping. So thanks again. See you tomorrow. Bye.